Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another guide for True Valley Lost. I know that there's tons of new players that have subscribed to my channel recently because of the first anniversary event. So I want to give you guys sort of an updated guide for weapon combos. As most of you guys probably know, I made a weapon combo video way back when Dragali Lost first launched. Even though it's outdated, some of the info and things you see in that video are still relevant, but I don't know if I would recommend that you guys watch it nowadays. It does showcase lots of combos for all the different weapons, but I didn't tell you guys the optimal combos, so that's why I'm making this video. This will be the updated version which will cover the optimal combos for each weapon type. Do know that I don't play dagger or bow very often, but I did discuss those two weapons with a buddy of mine, so those two segments should be accurate, alright? Now with all that being said, let's begin. So there's two combos for the sword. The first one is three taps into a four strike. This is the optimal combo for sword characters that do not have any four strike damage abilities attached to the character. It has great damage output as well as great SP gains. When the enemy is in overdrive, that's when you make the switch and start doing the 2 tap into 4 strike combo instead because this is the best sword combo for melting overdrive bars. Now if you are using a sword character with 4 strike damage, such as Albert, Leah, Xander, or a sword character equipped with Stellar Show, Sisters Day Out, or some other 4 strike damage print, then that's when you want to always do 2 tap into 4 strike. It doesn't matter if the foe is in overdrive or not, just spam this combo throughout the whole fight. This combo is a little bit hard to do consistently since the timing is tighter than the 3 tap version, but once you get a hang of it, it's actually really awkward trying to do the 3 tap version again. This 2 tap into 4 strike combo is all about getting into rhythm. For the blade, there's also two combos. The first one is really easy to do. You just do the whole 5 tap combo and then at the very end, just add on a 4 strike. As a blade, it's very important that you hit that 5th attack in the combo string when the character does a spinning slash because that attack provides a lot of SP. I believe in my original weapon combo guide, I recommended to skip the 5th attack and 4 strike after the 4th attack. Don't do that. Complete the 5th attack, then 4 strike afterwards. Now I know that there are some people out there that would debate that 5 taps into a fail 4 strike is better, but it depends on the character honestly. Sometimes you need to finish a 4 strike at the end in order to get enough SP to finish the rotation on certain characters, but sometimes you don't. Regardless though, failing the 4 strike is kind of complicated to do. Personally, I can't do it consistently, so I just stick with the 5 tap 4 strike combo instead. For those that are asking, how do you fail the 4 strike exactly? Well, it's kind of difficult to explain how to do it. The way I do it is I would input a 4 strike command at the very start of the 5th attack and then quickly let go. Like after the 4th attack, it's 2 quick taps and then quickly let go. That's like the only way I can explain it. Lance is similar to the blade. 5 taps into a 4 strike fail is the optimal combo. If you aren't consistent with failing the 4 strike, then don't worry, you don't have to do it. You can just do 5 taps into a roll instead, but you'll need to immediately roll as soon as the 5th attack connects. You can also add a 4 strike at the end after the 5th attack instead, but I would only do this if you need to reposition your character. However, there are some situations where you always incorporate the 4 strike at the end to finish your rotation, but again, it depends on the character and the build. The Axe's optimal combo is very straightforward, it's 5 taps and then add a 4 strike at the very end. As soon as your character jumps in the air, then that's when you want to input the command for the 4 strike, and then let go as soon as the 5th attack lands. Now the dagger, I'm only recommending 4 taps into 4 strike. This seems to be the optimal combo for daggers. There is one other combo that people do. That combo is called the C5 reverse 4 strike. It's where you reverse a 4 strike during the frame when your character starts to backflip. I personally can't do it because I don't ever play dagger, therefore I can't show you guys. However, I heard that it's not even worth the effort to do it anyway, so most people just stick to doing C4 4 strike instead. Juan and Staff have basically the same combo. You just tap 5 times and that's pretty much it. For the Juan, you can fail a 4 strike after the 5th attack. Again, if you can't do it consistently, then you can either just roll or stand still and continue tapping. 
Lastly is the bow. This is where things get a little interesting. There's three combos for the bow. The easiest one to do is C5 or five taps. This is what I would recommend the new players to do since it doesn't require any four strike inputs. If you get a little better with the game and get used to four striking, then that's when you want to start doing the four taps into a four strike. I would say that this is the optimal combo for most bow characters. Now if you are using 4 strike haste and 4 strike damage prints on your bow character then that's when your optimal combo becomes 4 strike roll. In this combo you literally just 4 strike, roll, 4 strike, roll, 4 strike and then roll. The timing on the 4 strike is a little bit tricky to get down so it'll take a little bit of practice to get used to. And there you have it, all the optimal combos for each weapon type. I know that that was pretty quick but honestly there's really not much to go over but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.